We have a breaking news update now. The U.S. military has shut down another unidentified object today over northern, Cal or northern Canada. It took place over the Yukon through NORAD, which is a joint U.S. and Canadian military command. U.S. officials still say they do not know who owns the object that was shot down yesterday over Alaska. ABC's M. Gwen has more. The military is now in the process of recovering the wreckage of an unidentified object shot down Friday off the coast of Alaska. The White House saying this object was flying at 40,000 feet, posing a threat to civilian aircraft. Out of an abundance of caution and at the recommendation of the Pentagon, President Biden ordered the military to down the object. And they did. One senior official describing it as cylindrical and silverish gray. The Pentagon saying it's about the size of a small car. Do you have anything to say about the object shot down over Alaska, Mr. President? The White House says the object was first detected Thursday evening. Fighter jets sent to observe, determining it was unmanned. The president briefed Thursday, giving the order to shoot it down Friday morning. An F-22 fighter jet taking the shot at 1.45 p.m. This object didn't appear to have the gondola underneath it like the suspected Chinese spy balloon that was brought down off the coast of the Carolinas. There's no indication that it had uh, any capability to be powered or to steer in a particular direction or to collect intelligence. President Biden has faced some criticism for not acting sooner to shoot down that Chinese spy balloon before it transversed the United States. Alaska Senator Lisa Murkowski says Friday's action sends a better message. Any aspect of U.S. sovereign territory that is is encroached upon um, there's going to be consequences to it on friday the military announced they had found the massive technology bay from that chinese spy balloon at the bottom of the atlantic ocean watch breaking news on youtube subscribe to abc7 chicago eyewitness news